All right, guys, what's up? And Seema here for another episode of Stronger in Five Minutes. We're not gonna start the timer yet because I need to explain to you why you're seeing my nipples currently because in the last two videos, these weren't exposed. So the reason why these are exposed is because we're gonna be talking about this guy today. What, dude, <laughs> the ab wheel, why did you? Anyway, we're gonna be talking about the ab wheel rollout. This is a movement that I love to do, a movement that I love to program, but also a movement that when I see people in the gym and when I used to do it, I used to be doing it super wrong because it's not that easy to intuit It's not that easy to intuitively do. That's a hard word. Okay, now we can start the timer. Go. Okay, so for the ab wheel rollout, there's a few things I need you guys to understand before you actually start to do the movement. This is a great movement to train a braced core, okay? Now, when I explain a braced core, I try to explain to people, it's having your hips, let's say these are your hips, and your rib cage. I got this from Kelly Sturet back in 2012 from Becoming a Supple Leopard. Great book, you need to buy it. Now, rib cage over hips. When a lot of people brace and they're under a squat, they go like this, right? And you're open, this is like this, it's an open system. Or they try to go like this. They end up being like this, this is not braced. You wanna have your rib cage, right over your hips, like the two bowls pouring into each other. This is a beautiful neutral spine. So when you go to the ab wheel rollout, some common faults that we see are number one, an open system, okay? Meaning that your chest is too high and they try to go out like this. Oh God, that was uncomfortable, right? So that means that their hips are too low, right? Hips are too low, boom. Ugh. Their hips are touching the ground first. Then we have the faults of people having their hips too high. So they try to roll out, and they don't have the ab strength, so their hips kind of stay high, and it's like, you know what that's like. Okay, hips are too low, hips are too high. And then the other fault is that their chest touches the ground first, so they're coming down, they're coming down, they're coming down, uh, right? And they're right there. Now, another common fault is this. I'm gonna bring my, my lovely assistant, Kenny, into the mix. Kenny's actually really jacked. What's going Look on? Look at Kenny. I don't know what we are in terms of time, but when you're doing this, you need to be braced. I mean, you need to brace your, <laughs> brace your abdomen into, like, just brace your abs. Now, I'm gonna give this a demo with Kenny here. Kenny, can you uh, come here and just really poke me hard? Okay, right here, brace. Did you see Kenny's hand here? You need to be like that throughout the whole ab wheel. Now, Kenny, try to keep poking me while I'm doing this. People aren't braced sometimes when they're doing it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna not brace. Ah, ah, that's not good. But when you're underneath the squat or underneath the deadlift, you gotta brace into your belt. So when you're doing this, you need to stay perfectly braced. Now, thank you, Kenny, you're awesome. We're still under five minutes and we got this. Now, the last thing that we need to make sure that we do not do is not lead with the hips. When a lot of people are doing the ab wheel rollout, they're here, they have a great starting position and then they lead with their hips, right? And when they come up, ooh, they lead with the hips. We can't do that, okay? We need to be here. When you begin the movement, braced core, rib cage over hips, have your arms go, watch my hips and my arms, boom, here. When I come back, look at my arms. We're here, okay? I'm gonna show you the leading with the hips fault again because it's very subtle. This is me leading with the hips, watch my hips. There, and then I'm coming up with the hips, a lot of people do that. You need to lead with the arms and keep your hips and your arms in line. So boom, this is the correct way. We're here, we're out, and then we're back here again. Now, we're still under five minutes. Progressions, if you cannot do that, have two plates or a wall and figure out where your stopping point is. If it's here, cool. If it's here, cool. If it's here, cool, that's fine. Now, if you can do it fully like I did before, boom, boom. In terms of rep progressions, because I think we're still under time, you can do this for anywhere between eight, 10, 12, 15. I like to program this to up to 20 reps and uh, progress from there. Under five minutes, stronger in under five minutes, baby, we got this, we did it, we're good. This is Nsima Iyang from the Super Training Gym, Mark Bell's Power Project. You can check out my YouTube channel and all that good stuff. Stronger in five minutes, I'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah!